Okay, so apparently Malawi has clinched a deal with a, a second division team from Spain to advertise uh, on on their shirt. Fine, and we should we should be patriotic and hail this deal. The the newspapers were like, "Oh, landmark deal! This is it. You know, never been done before." Uh, fine, fine. I'm I'm I'm. I'm fine with it, and I don't want to come out as a sour puss, someone who doesn't appreciate that the steps that the peop- people are taking, to, you know, <coughs> to bring tourists to Malawi. And and uh, according to the press release that they they put out, uh, it says this this is a gracious offer for the brand as it comes at no cost to the ministry and Malawi as a country. Now, th- this has me uh, questioning several things. A sponsorship deal that will not cost Malawi anything. So how will it work? Why is it a sponsorship deal if we are not paying anything, if we are not coughing anything? So who's paying? Are you saying that a team is offering free space on their shirts? The team that needs money is in the second division in Spain. Very poor by, by, by standards. So what is happening here? Who is not saying the whole truth here? Where is the MOU? Can we see it? There is no way they can offer space on their shirts for free. But that is not even the issue I have with the, with, with this whole story. My issue is if if, we, if it's free, then fine. But if something has been paid, then probably the data was not looked at. Because people... Uh, I have data, and and some people are doing research. You you go to Mzuzi University, there the likes of Zandifu Dagankuni, a professor there. You know he looks into these issues. Which are the countries that send Malawi tourists the most? You know most of them are around us. So we have uh, the likes of Zambia, Mozambique, uh, and these are the people that pump most of the people that come to Malawi. But these people come for trade, so we can't count them as tourists. The people that come as tourists though. Okay, let's let's go to 2019. I'm quoting a, a, a study a study from, from Zuzi University here, right? So the in 2019, uh, the most people international tourists buy I, I, in terms of tourism. So we had uh, the United United States, uh the UK, Germany and Australia. These were the biggest givers of tourists in 12,000 10,000 that's a lot spend zero or, or five negligible for for this for the purpose of this one the thing is if, if you go to Spain, those people speak spanish they usually go to spanish speaking countries it's just like us we we look towards the english speaking countries that we can go so malawians mostly go to the uk the US, Australia, and th- these other places. You, you, you rarely hear of Malawians or his move to France unless he's, he's been posted there. So it's inherently uh, not scientific to go to Spain, number one, a country that doesn't speak our language, a country which does not provide tourists. Well, someone will say, well, look, isn't that the, not the place where you should go to look for people to come here, you know? I would say no. Why? Because this this sponsorship deal, the second division, the second division, is not is not beamed on any major TV station. A very small station, like two stations that beam this one. Nobody watches it, and and the viewership is negligible. Now. The people that do all the backpacking we know in Malawi, the guys that come on, on bikes, b- bikes and stuff like that, those people are from the UK and the US and Australia and Germany. We should, we can go to, to England, you know, sponsor non-league teams. They, we already have connections with these guys. You go to Scotland, these people, if, if Malawi was ever colonized by any other country, it, it has to be Scotland. Let's go to Scotland. Let's go to the UK, Australia. Sponsor a team. You don't even have to sponsor a team because we need the money here, right? There are so many things that need finances. We couldn't probably waste that much money giving a team. I think Rwanda is paying millions of dollars to be uh, uh, to to be on the shirt of Arsenal. So they don't come free. These things, okay? That's number one. Number two, there are better ways to bring in tourists. 
first of all, the people that come to Malawi are niche, niche tourists, mostly backpackers, people who are looking to save and people who are looking to go to places that are not popular. Okay, you, you, you can go on YouTube. There are people like uh, the Best Ever Food Review Show. You know, we've got, uh, we've got Drew Brinske, you know, who has gone to all these other countries. There are people who do angling. Sponsor people like those. They should come to Malawi. Their audience are the travelers. If you go to, you know, you know trip advisors, people go into these small chat rooms to look for places to go and to go to hiking and to go backpacking. That is how you bring more tourists. Target the places that where we already have a connection, the United States, you know, the UK, Germany, Australia, number one. Number two, do it intelligently. Okay, you can go a local uh, a team like Rexham, I think, some guy from the U.S. sponsored uh, a local team in England. It, it blew up and so many people are visiting the place and stuff like that. This can only happen in these countries that have stated. So the data scientifically doesn't support this idea that we, 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 can, we can go v- to Spain and make them interested to come here. No, it won't happen, number one. Number two, the, this narrative that we're being told that this is a free deal is also not good. It's, it, I, I don't believe it for one minute. So let's be scientific. Yes, we have to be patriotic, but sometimes the data matters. The data matters. People are struggling every day, putting in the work, doing this data. You can just look at a chart you know, and, and you know where to go. You know where to focus your, your marketing. It's people, 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 and place. This is very important in marketing. So I, I don't know why the, the ministry decided to go with DC Leganese in the second division, uh, and you will, you will not see it on any major TV. And and then for free, really? <laughs> I smell a fish here. I smell a fish. And it, in, if if there's no fish involved, let's see where this thing all came from. Who broke it? Tomorrow we hear that oh, was some some foreigner wrote the bins and then this deal happened and then they, they were paying so much consultancy fees and this like this is how we get swindled. This is how we are bleeding money to these guys. You know the the the, the people from Dubai, the foreign the, the Brazilians, the people that we involve without actually putting. We have so many people that can do stuff like this and they should start from the data.